Hey everyone, so it's been a while since I did an update, so I'm going to go ahead and do one. Um, today is July 16th. Uh, the tomatoes have been in the ground for, I think, exactly a month now. Um, I did plant mine mid-June. The um, reason for that is because uh, our summer has been very late. We didn't, summer really didn't start until maybe two weeks ago, um, where the temperatures are finally at 70 degrees or seven, above 70 at night. And uh, during the day, um, we're now approaching 100 degrees a day. Um, so here's the tomatoes. So these have only been in the ground for a month, which is pretty awesome the way they look right now. They're doing great. Um, I've grown a lot in a month's time. Also back here are a few, um, a few sunflowers. I like to do sunflowers because they just grow so tall and they're really nice. And they don't seem to bother the tomatoes. Um, just as they grow, you do need to put a bamboo post next to the stem uh, to the here, because uh, it does get top heavy once this flower opens, once it becomes full size, which is uh, usually about the size of my head. So that's why you got to help support the weight up top by putting a post down on the bottom and just roping into it. So most of these aromas, as you can see. You're low enough, it just looks like a forest. Um, there's some buds right there, tomato will grow, grow, so that means tomatoes will grow uh, from those. I see we have just a small tomato on one of those right now. Uh, these aromas, most of these aromas I do tend not, I do try to not mix varieties in a single plot try to stick with the same because when they do pollinate um, say you have a smaller tomato plant a hybrid growing and then you also have like a beef steak you know, those really fat red tomatoes now what happens is when they pollinate if they cross pollinate you know the bees carrying the pollen from one to another it will actually affect the size of that fat tomato and it will make it smaller so like varieties similar size and color Cross pollinating is okay, um, but completely two different varieties. Um, you're going to end up with not a mutated, but not what you've uh, planted tomatoes. Um, but this one right here, this is the only different one. This is actually a celebrity tomato. As you can see, that's a small red, a small rounded tomato. And I'll show you aroma. Tomato. And this is aroma right here. It's pretty big. As you can see those are a little bit elongated. So there are quite a few tomatoes growing in there. And wait for these puppies to grow to ripen up so I can start making some, some wonderful tomato produce products. Um, love to use them for chilies, um, tomato sauces, I've made ketchup a few times, um, and they all do very well. And it's just so rewarding that everything came out of the garden. Oops. Uh, you gotta watch out for the spider webs. Yeah. Another aroma. So like I said, this, this is very good. They're looking extremely well for being only a month old. Um, it's the first time I've actually decided to start late in the season. I usually start uh, about mid-spring. This time I started um, a week before the first day of summer, which was June 21st. And today is July 15th, so these are exactly a month old. Um, as for my weed barrier, as you can see, there's no weeds at all. I've had a few poking up. Um, such as this, but the weed berry actually doesn't come this far. <laughs> um, but just putting more mulch down is really helping keeping back the weeds in the sections I didn't use the weed barrier on. But as you can see, it is working very well. I'm very happy with it. Um, so I would say going forward, any time I plant uh, my tomatoes, I will use a weed barrier. Um, not only does it, does it make it easy to walk around, you know, get in between plants to harvest, 
to work on you know every day I do spend about 30 minutes with the tomatoes and um, removing suckers and let me show you what a sucker is since I'm not mentioning it um, I gotta find one sucker 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 oh there's a sucker okay so you see the main branch this is the main stem right here yeah. and then you got two branches coming off the main now, these are okay but this little guy in the center that's a sucker Okay, so what I like to do is just remove these. These, only thing they do is they create foil, uh, more leaves. So let's go ahead and remove those. And what that makes it do, it eliminates any energy being pulled from here and it distributes it into the main stem, which has tomatoes on it, or has a couple buds on it. So once those tomatoes grow, it won't lose any of its energy or um, tomato properties from that sucker. Now I will remove the suckers until the plants are full size. Once they have reached full maturity, um, I will just leave the suckers on. Um, they're not going to do much uh, once the plant really stops growing and it's just focusing its energy on the tomatoes. I will leave the suckers on just to add more um, Give the plant more opportunities for photosynthesis to gather more nutrients from the sun to ripen the tomatoes. Alright, helicopter's coming over, so I'll talk to you guys soon.